I'm Kayla Creek, and I'm 19. I'm 18. Okay. I'm currently 20 years old. I am 18 years old. I'm 20 years old. What do you think the criteria is to be an adult? Um, I think like being an adult is it's a it's a combination of a lot of things. So it's like you know having the capabilities of living on your own, but you also like it, it's a like a combination of a lot of things. Like you have to have the means. The responsibility of your actions. Living independent from your parents. Like paying bills, like doing adult things. And then. Uh, being able to manage your feelings. Based on this criteria, do you think that you have re reached adulthood? I know I'm not an adult right now. I don't think so, not completely. I think, yeah. I think I'm almost there, but like... Um, I guess I'll say that I'm in a process of being an adult. So, uh, are you living far away from your parents? If so, how have you learned to cope with it and has this matured you? Yes, I live far away from my parents. I guess it has helped me a lot to, for me to be an adult. Well, yeah, it definitely made me mature enough to like, well, since I'm alone, I have to be responsible with my actions and behaviors and grades and mansions that I made and all the stuff, yeah. I feel like it's definitely matured me. I've learned to like live by myself. Um, I guess it just helped me to live independently more because when you're at home you rely on your parents a lot even like the smallest things with laundry or dishes or like feeding yourself so I guess it helped me to mature a little bit more into the adulthood aspect I guess. When do you think that you would be married? Uh, I actually never have thought of about this before. I don't know I guess when I think about it like in your my late 20s Okay. Um, after I graduate from college. Not sure. I'm, I mean... Is it like a distant future in your mind? Yeah, probably, A yeah. distant future, okay. okay. Between 30 and 40, I'll be married. Uh, what are you planning on doing after graduating in terms of finance and housing? I understand how difficult it is after college to, you know, get in the workforce. It's extremely difficult and most graduates don't jump in right away, but... If if I assume that I get a job here, then I'll probably take a loan and we'll try to stand by myself. My like future like oriented goal is to be a nurse, so I probably do something around that area. And like until I get like settled in with everything, I probably live by myself and try to support myself with the nurse whole nursing thing. I just thought I'd like start off like you know kind of getting a crappy apartment, you know, living the dream <laughs> of growing up in the city, and then maybe if I get that perfect job, I'll move and you know start working on myself first and then everywhere around me after. I may go on to get my master's degree. Um, I'm not sure yet though. I'll probably go back to Ithaca where I'm from. I guess I'll be working some uh, for a few years in America and then go back to Korea. Alright, um, lastly. Uh, how much emotion is present when you face difficulties? Hell a lot. About 40 percent? There's not much emotion present mm -hmm. when I face difficulties. Mm -hmm. I get very emotional when I face difficulties. Sometimes it's hard to like keep it in check. But, right. yeah. yeah. Okay, that's, that's great. Thank you so much. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.